the Russell, where he is, pound for pound, is greater than where Russ was at this point. No, I can't say that. I don't even think it's possible <laughs> for Russ to have had that. Like, it was just way harder back then. The I time. think Le Russell is doing it the best that I've seen. Oh, number one, top two and ain't two. Because not only is he doing the anti-industry narrative, right? Laying into that. He has the self-promotional mouthpiece where he can talk himself up, get the gab, that whole thing, mm -hmm. right? Check. Hustle approach where he capitalizes on it. You know what I mean? Monetizes on it because those people who do it the best, so you got to have that because some people just talk, 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 but they don't really have the hustle to like move and cap off of it, mm -hmm. right? And then beyond that, the Russell, he's capturing the story along the way from an yeah. early- The documentary. Yeah, yeah, that documentary, right? And showing where he is, showing- the more humble beginnings than where he's about to be or where he's trying to go. And then building community. Russ ain't build community. That's, uh, mm, no, no. Uh, it doesn't mean that he doesn't have a community. It doesn't mean that there aren't a lot of fans that fuck with him. But I'm talking about like hardcore touch and feel community community where you know why like we can show up and we all know why we're here and there's a mission and vibe. That's why it's like more like J. Cole has a community at scale. The rest did not as a part know. of his story, he did not push any part of uh, like community. No, I can't say that, man. You can't say that Russ didn't push no, the community? No. All right, what's the community? Like Russ's community, like he was kind of building was like, Hey, we are the group of people that think anti mainstream and kind of do what we want to do. No. <laughs> no. I don't I don't rock with it. Like That's, he was, he, he was, was talking directly to us. He, like he had Facebook groups and SoundCloud things that he did. Like he was very like I remember, and I also think about it too because I remember when Russ was coming up as an artist. Yeah, I was in college, uh -huh. and I had this blog that I used to run, and I remember Russ would comment on the posts that I would make from the blog. I, used to, I remember thinking, "Time like it's crazy." Like he literally pays attention to like everybody and everything that talks mm -hmm. about him. And this is pre what you want. This is pre like him popping. This is just like you know, Russ was is extremely savvy. Don't let me like. Don't make it seem like I don't appreciate his strategy. He wasn't sharp at what he does. That's why he's in this conversation. I'm just saying in that specific way. No, I don't think he built community. I think he was a, a part of community or like commented, created presence in community. La Russell's community. Yes. Like you start because of La Russell and who he shows himself to be or like maybe some people came in because of his music and maybe some people like first noti notify uh learn about them through like the anti-establishment messaging mm -hmm. and interviews like that. But it's very clear when I look outside of that messaging, there's like shit that people believe that are there together beyond that. Right. That aren't just artists that aren't just dudes. It's a place for men and women that mm -hmm. can feel comfortable like around in that community, the pay what you, what you want or whatever the uh, restaurant, because he's already, sh so it's, it shows all these different things that you stand for beyond the anti-establishment. And he shows the community and he shows, and part of that, like he shows team. But Russ didn't really show team like that. That's not true either. Yes, it is. He's, he, had, I, he, had, he doesn't mean he doesn't have team. <laughs> he had team from the very beginning and I watched it. It wasn't a part of his narrative. Russ, Russell had like his team gets interviewed. How many people on his team get, uh, get That's what I'm saying, like, but Russ had like the two or three main members of like Demon with him, like Boogus and other dudes. Like, yes. they, they was like in all his early content. They was on yes. like, a lot of his early interviews. But it, all right, so I think this is what, why, and I don't think, and I don't use it against him. I just think partial part, part of it was being a different era. Yeah. People weren't paying attention to it like that. Yeah. So he would have had to do different stuff to build community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but like even the uh, I think I'm sorry I can't remember her name. I, I don't know if it's just T or TT. Like talking about oh yeah she has ownership oh she's dope bigging her up and da da da. And again this isn't any slight at Russ. It's just I'm saying when we have to split hairs that why he has why the Russell has done better in this category. If we look at textbook, I think he's checked more boxes in terms of the anti fan strategy and building like an entire uh, ecosystem that people can rally around. So some artists and managers are just waiting for lucky moments when the ones who are killing it have systems to consistently take artists to another level over and over again.
And if you want to see what that looks like, we just did a collab where we not only show the system that we use that's resulted in billboard hits, some of the biggest viral moments on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, but also we got J.R. McKee to break down how he took an artist from zero to one of the biggest hit songs of 2022 and getting a Grammy in January of 2023. This is recent stuff, not old tactics. If you want to check it out, go to www dot brandmannetwork.com slash grammy don't forget the www or it won't work because jr gets into the details of looking at the data decisions that got made how much content got created and how they adjusted the content over time for different parts of the campaign this is real behind the curtains type of stuff so again go to www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy, if you want to check this out and apply it to yourself, back to the video. Well, and that's the only space I would give it to him. Is like he got to touching the people in real life faster than Russ did. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but like Russ still did. Like Russ was building community. That's what I'm I can't say that. I can't say like watching like. All right, he built like, it slower. He just didn't build it as well. Like you tell me if 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 Russ were to tweet about. Not even tweet, just put like, I'm doing some little thing here today. Of course, he got fans. That's, that's Everybody exactly. can do that. No, that's they not got true. fans. No, that's not true. They got real fans. But that's that's but, what a fan but, is. But that's how we gauge who has real fans, by the community. No. real Fans and community are different. Community, like, that means I fuck with you because we represent the same thing and we already know what we're here for. We can vibe just off of that. Fan is, I fuck with this artist. We might both be here because I fuck with this artist. Not necessarily because we represent this world of things to be a part of and we like automatically connect beyond just the artist itself. There's other values and things that come into play. The Russell has gotten to touching the people faster than Russ. Faster than yeah. Russ. Yeah. What was my point? You He's said he built doing... a strong community. Yeah, we go at what gauge and point of your your existence, where he is pound for pound. For community, is greater than where Russ it was at this point. No, I can't say that. I don't even think it's <laughs> possible for Russ to have had that. Like it was just way harder back then. Niggas weren't putting content out. The content, the content wasn't as frequent and even just spreading as much. People weren't on the social media like that. It wasn't as strong of a platform. He did a lot more physical stuff. Russ was out there like going overseas to shows and stuff, and nobody even fucking know. Yeah. Like everybody knows, La Russell is moving. Like it's, it wasn't even possible for Russ to like build community from a media perspective and have a media. Like La Russell has a full media brand, like a media company. Yeah, in his company, right? Not just because of the good company stuff, like, but literally just because people can have these separate companies. Like, but no, literally the production, uh, consistency of content, consistency of sim and simplicity of narrative. Russ, before he really got to build community, he had to use the fact that he was popping first. Like, and let the people know that he was popping and that created the media attention for him. And then he had the opportunity to start building. Uh, but that's what I'm saying, because uh, he he was building his SoundCloud community and his Facebook community before. Like the yes. big the big pop yes. moment for him was like, what you want? Like what but you that want? that was around the music. What, what what do you mean? I, I'm you mean, you're saying like the community around like the brand, like him in general? Everything. Yes. Yeah. That's a full I'm talking about a full the whole point is being holistic. A full holistic community La Russell. La Russ was more around music. Mm. Because again, it just wasn't even possible if we like to the same extent. It was very hard. If we want to go to some people who did it in their own way and did it more holistically and it was closer to what uh, La Russell and what he's doing, it would be more like Odd Future. They built yeah. community, community where it's very clear that we're these type of people and some of these other things going. All right, let us know what y'all think, <laughs> bro, <laughs> about those points. Done, went damn off, <laughs> off the rails, but.